Okay, now that you've gotten down the basics of how to work with a MySQL database, we're going to actually uh, start using some PHP in this video. Although we probably won't use it to work with the database just yet, this is going to be an introduction to how PHP works and what you can do with it. Now, this is just a blank page, a blank HTML page, and I'm going to show you how to do pretty much anything you want in PHP with it. Now, for starters, PHP files are really just HTML files. This is a perfectly okay PHP file, even though there's no PHP code in it. It's all HTML. And I'm going to assume you know HTML, CSS, things like that, because I want this to focus on the PHP integration, as opposed to teaching you that on the side. So for starters, if you want something to come out in PHP, you have to put it between these tags. If it's not between those tags, it will PHP will not be able to read it, and it will just come out as plain HTML. So let's start by entering our first thing in PHP, which will be called echo. And that basically means print this text to the page as if it were actually there. So let's just say we want to say hello. Put that in double quotes or single quotes, um, and put a semicolon at the end. Now if we save that, load it in Firefox, that just comes out fine. However, if we look at the source code, you can see there is no PHP code there. You don't see the echo or the uh, PHP tags. It, it comes through as plain text. And this is why PHP is closed source. You can't uh, look at it in the browser. So that can sometimes make it a little harder to be debug, but I can, I'll explain more about some good debugging techniques for PHP later. Now let's say we want to style this. Let's say div style equals font weight bold. And then end div. Now if we load this right now, it's going to throw us an error. Be why? And that's because see this single quote this double quote here? Well, another the next double quote will tell PHP to end it. This is where the piece of text ends. And right now, that double quote is right there. So if you see though that font weight bold is a different color, that's not because of syntax highlighting. That's because it's thinking that that is not pH. That is not a string of text that you wanted to echo out. So you have two things you can do here. I'm just going to put this twice. You can put backslashes in front of these quotes. And if you put a backslash in front of a quote, PHP will just ignore it. Say print a backslash, don't have this affect the actual text string in PHP. You can do that, or you can change the single quotes to double, the double quotes to single quotes. Well, I've been interrupted a lot lately. Okay, so you change these double quotes to single quotes, and so then the double quotes right here won't tr make PHP think that it's the end of the text string, because it's looking for a single quote to end it. And you can use the same technique for single quotes by putting a backslash in front of them to tell PHP that it's not uh, part of the text string. So let's save this. Let's load it. And you can see it came out fine. No errors, and it came out what we wanted to do. Now if you take a look at this, I'm just going to resize that, you can see how this all came out on one line. But we put that on two lines in the PHP code. Why did that come out that way? Well, PHP has this thing that it will not make a new line unless you specifically tell it to. And you can tell it to by saying echo, and this has to be in double quotes, there's no choice about that, backslash n. And that basically means put in a new line. We're going to put another one here, backslash n. So now if we load that, the page itself has not changed. However, it now comes out on a new line. And that, again, it's not... Uh, it won't actually affect your output. Um, the only thing it will do is if you're trying to make your page more uh, XHTML valid, it will make it easier and it will make your source code more readable for either you or potential visitors that are trying to steal your source code. Okay, so that's how to echo plain text out in PHP. I'm just going to get rid of that now. Now I'm going to tell you about variables. A variable in PHP starts with a dollar sign and then just has a name. So let's say a variable number then equals 1. So that's setting a variable called number equal to the number 1. If we load the page now, 
nothing's going to happen because we haven't actually told PHP to echo anything out yet. We're just telling it to keep this in it's the back of its mind. However, we can echo number. If we load that, we'll get one. So that's how you can echo out a single variable. Now the other important thing that I want to talk about as part of this variable lesson is arrays. Now arrays are basically a variable that can hold multiple variables. Uh, in case you're having trouble grasping that, let me show you. That was numbers, so let's make this numbers equal to an array and put this in semicolon and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Each item in an array is separated by a comma and they're all put in parentheses. Now unfortunately we cannot just do echo numbers. PHP cannot just echo out an array. However, what it can do is print R, which means which means print readable. Now if we echo this out, oh, well, lower the page. That doesn't look very readable, but that's because that's HTML not formatting it. If we look in the source, it's more readable and that one is still there. Now look very carefully at this. You'd think it would go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and it does for the values, but for the actual count, it starts at 0. And so, In fact, all programming languages do that, but if you're new to programming, remember, uh, computer-generated lists always start at 0. So this is sorting items based on a number. However, we can also order these items based on words. So let's just take this out. Uh, here's a useful thing. If you put double slash in front of a line, it will it, it will make PHP ignore the whole line. That can help you if you want to uh, write a little notice to what a script does, or if you just want to take something out temporarily like I did. So let's make this words equals an array, but instead of just putting values in and letting PHP automatically assign them a place, we're going to make our own places. So we're going to make first equals greater than sign means assign this as the name to the next value so first will be assigned to the word one and a comma and we'll say second will be assigned to the word two now if we print r this It comes out just looking like another array, um, but instead of having numbers that order all the um, items in it, we have words. And this will be more important when we are working with our MySQL and grabbing stuff out of a database. And, remem and remember, when you're assigning uh, things in an array based on a word, you have to put them in quotes. It doesn't matter if it's single or double quotes, I prefer to use single, but you have to remember that, otherwise it will not work. And that is, that's all you need to know about PHP variable. Oh, wait, one more thing. Is that, uh, let's say we don't want the whole array. Maybe we just want one number in array, especially since what I showed you is not very readable for an end user. So let's just say I want to get four out of this array. But what we can do is echo numbers, and then in brackets put the position of the item we want, which is actually in position three. So this should echo out four. Now we can also do the same thing with this. We can do echo words, and let's say I want second. I remember quotes are for that, but not for a numbered array. So if we echo this out, we should get four two, and we do. So hopefully you've gotten the concepts of how to work with variables in PHP, and in the next video I'll be talking about how to use this knowledge about variables and get stuff out of a MySQL database so you can use it on your page.